Oliver in Germany writes to me, Hi Paul, would you say that the sound quality behind the power plants will improve, or not, when the distortion factor of the input AC decreases, or not? Why does the output distortion factor display remain within 0.1% when using multi-wave option, so the sine wave will have an artificial shape? Okay, good question. So a modern power plant doesn't really care what the input distortion is up to a point. I mean, you get above 10% or so and we start to struggle, but that's pretty rare. So uh, a power plant will take, say, from 8 9% distortion on the line uh, down to 1%, 2%, and will always output about 0.1% because it's rebuilding the waveform and it doesn't really care what's going on at the input. That's its whole idea. Power plants regulate the voltage, lower the impedance, and they do this dynamically, instantly. There's, there's, you know, there's other guys out there that have stuff, but they don't regulate the voltage uh, on a constant basis. I remember Monster made <laughs> probably told this story before. They made this goofy automatic voltage regulator. It was a Variac, a big, you know, uh, transformer that we have them here. We have Variacs all around the place. They have big knobs on it. You turn it. And it's a transformer. And as you turn it, there's a, a slider that goes across. And you can adjust the AC voltage to what you want. So what they, but if, if the input voltage changes, it, it follows along. It's just, you can raise it up and then it follows along or lower it down and then it follows along. That's not regulating. So what they did is they put a motor on it and a sensing circuit so that as the long-term voltage rose up or down, it would and and uh, <laughs> which I guess, you know, it's really, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference because most equipment doesn't really care a whole lot what you're putting. What, what it does care about is the steadiness of that voltage, that when you demand voltage on an instantaneous basis for music, that it doesn't dip with the music. You want that to hold it rock steady, and then it can dip and do its stuff. Then you have great sound, and that's what a, uh, a power plant does, because it's, it's, it's like a big power amp. But, but Noel Lee at Monster Cable had made this one, um, or his guys did. And so we wanted to make fun of it at a show just to sh when we were first selling power plants. So our engineer, Bob, came up with this uh, light system where it was, um, you had the voltage going boom, 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 about that speed. And you could see the lights going do, 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 do. And you had the the monster cable device plugged in on one <laughs> and then had ours plugged in the other and the, then lights at the output. So input light, a light that shows what the power plant's producing and a light that shows what the monster cable thing is producing. This poor thing, I mean, it, it, so here the lights are flashing. Of course, the, the power plant's just holding rock steady. It's like, yeah, really? This is nothing um, because I, you know, that's what I do for a living, right? The, the, the monster cable one is this motor in it, of course, it was designed in all fairness for slow changes uh, and we were making fun of it, which was probably mean and politically incorrect. Noel Lee came by, laughed his ass off. <laughs> he and I are good friends and he laughed and patted me on the shoulder and said, you go get him, Tiger. Anyway, uh, this thing's going going. <laughs> We had fun with that. That was pretty good. Anyway, so where were we? Uh, so no, it you know it doesn't matter what the input voltage doesn't matter what the input distortion is. It's always going to be sounding the same, regardless of what that is. That's one of the beauties of the power plant AC regenerator. The multi-wave. Now a lot of people ask that, and multi-wave we distort on purpose the waveform. We add a little bit of third harmonic, and it extends, it makes it not into a square wave, but it just, it extends the, the peak of the sine wave gets extended out a little bit. What that does is it allows for a longer charging time, okay? So the longer charging time fills the caps up more in the power supply at the time that they actually need it, and you get less power supply ripple. And it's pretty easy to look on a scope and see what that change does. 
and then it, it sounds better. But the THD on our analyzer doesn't change, and it should. And of course, it doesn't, and that's because we cheat. <laughs> Plain and simple. We don't want people to get all freaked out. So whenever we, we just mathematically deduct what we add. So what you're seeing is the actual distortion as generated in the sine wave, but it excludes the added bit that we add to make multi-wave. But if that were to go up or down, then that would be reflected, but not the multi-wave. You just don't want to freak people out. So hope that answered your question. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.